guys a good morning yeah you are welcome once again to my channel you are welcome to the catfish solution uh, please today i'll be talking i made a video about this before and i'm trying to repeat the video like an upgrade so that uh, for those of us because some people still call me and ask questions about it and i think uh, it's an opportunity because i want to do it so it's an opportunity for me just to um, uh, uh, give a little bit lectures for those of you who have been asking questions about it this is what we call uh, the salt beating in your fish that means using salt in order to treat uh, hydrate your fishes so that is what we want to do today and uh, because i do this often only in order to prevent and in order to uh, stop death yeah so i use it in preventive in, in you can use it to prevent your fishes and if your fish are having problems maybe they are having what we call the bacterial infection they are having the fungal infection or any parasitic infection this is helpful for you in order to treat uh, your fishes too as well so because I use it often for preventives, so because I do use it every, sometimes I use it two times in a week, so depending, because I want my fishes to do what? Not to be runt, not to be stunted, so I treat them often so that they can heat and they can be hijacked. And as you, saw, as you know that, where salt in um, fishes do have what we call the sodium and uh, the chloride into the, into the blood system, not that is uh, adds a negative side does not it does not have a negative side this add what we call the sodium and the uh, the sodium and the chloride into their blood not that you are using any bar any antibiotics that may be harmful to them when you overused so this you cannot overuse so i like it so much and i love it so much so before i proceed what we call uh, infection uh, that means salt bait do take care of your skin of your fish's infection and inflammation in the fish it takes care of that the gills the gills of your skin the skin result uh, in the losing of uh, losing of your fish's hydration so it takes care of that that is the purpose of you using salt uh, for your fishes that is the essence of using salt for your fish and i told you earlier that this completely takes care of what we call uh, added more of the sodium and the chloride uh, to the body tissues of your fishes so how do we do the applications so today i'll be talking about two things i'll be talking about the salt bit and i'll be relating it with what we call the sub dip yeah so there's a difference between that we have the salt dip and we have the salt bit so but I'll be giving an extension uh, lecture on both later. But I will just be using this as a pal in order because I'm doing both today. And uh, thank you today. I'm going to, to fish two, two, two times. So it's an opportunity for me just to lecture you. So let us start. So in here we have what we call the salt. This is the salt. Uh, this is the salt. Uh, and in this salt, I have about 2 kg here. We have 2 kilo. I have two kg here and then uh, with this two kilo you and note if you want to hydrate your fishes with salt you can use a we, I use the table salt I prefer using the table salt that's what I use uh, awfully and I use it to treat my ponds too in order for those of you that maybe you have an infected fishes where you want to sell and this results to you making loss because sometimes you may your pond may be infected in many other ways and uh, this may affect your fishes and if that affect your fishes automatically this will affect uh, the 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 totality of the offsprings of the fishes and reduce them for their diet so they will not eat well and this may automatically stunt, stunt them so i use what you call the table salt so you can use the table salt you can use any of the table salt you have you can use the dangote you can use any mama chef you can use anyone in order to do this and again i will just tell your principle before i go into the demonstration we are we to me when my fishes are fingerless or they are juvenile i use one kg or if they are even table side grow out i use one kg of this when they are my fish are grow out when they are bigger maybe they are when they get into the lunch when they are about two months i use one kilo of this into 1000 liters of tank this is a cubic meter we call it 1000 liters of tank and this is a cubic meter so i use this into that but if i'm treating my fires i will have to reduce it so it, it i reduce it down if i'm treating my fire so i'll be taking you through 
the reduction now and how I make uh, the use of it. I've introduced to you the benefit and the purpose of this and uh, I think this will help a lot of people today and uh, I'm talking about, remember I'm talking about your sub bit and your sub D. So I'll be doing, I'll be going into the experiment and I told you earlier, when and how do you apply? When do you think it's time for you to do the application? When you notice that one, your fish are sluggish. When you notice that the bevel of your fish are turning white. When you notice that these, maybe I'm talking about the small, small fish, now, even the bigger fish. When you notice that the gills of your fishes are dropping. When you notice uh, that the, uh, the dosa vein of your fishes are dropping, when you notice the, the from the head, from the uh, for the middle part to the tail part, by the side of it, it's turning white. So this is the time for you to apply. Maybe there's a, there's what we call some parasitical uh, uh, element that is disturbing your fishes. This will never make them grow. They will never consistently eat. They will be sluggish, and they will, by the end of the day, if you don't treat them fast, they will be stunted. So this is the benefit of it. So by the time you notice such, please let me just chip in this. If you notice that your fishes from the middle side to the tail are whitish, you will see some. A labeling of white it will be it will be marked a little bit much that means from the tail to the you will see a sign like this this place will automatically get white the the, the, the it's like a line that will get white out of it if you notice that please the first thing you need to do is to check your water if the pH of water is not okay you can please try to correct that you can correct that to the calcium chloride you can correct that to the sodium carbonate and any other means and may the wonderful um, essential you can correct that so that that will take care of that first so after then we we'll now hydrate them with salt very very important so by the time you are there with salt make that you make sure that you do this only for like five days every problem on there will get solved so let us go to uh, the to demonstrate what